thinking of new things that he could do. And anyway, he was excited, Uh, was so excited. Then he goes over to the chief and he was like, chief, check out what I did. I've figured this out. And the chief was scared. The chief was frightened. Oh, my goodness. The chief was saying that it was of the devil and he was going to be cast out. He's, quote, playing with fire and he's going to get burned. And then he's telling everybody else, do not play with this stuff. This is this is scary. Um, it could spread. It could burn. It could hurt us. Um, we're not do- we're not doing this. So, you know what? Uh, said uh, he was so excited. And he goes, he goes, all right. I don't feel that way. And so what did uh, do? He grabbed a stick. And he looked at his whole clan, the whole group and he got a little serious for a moment and he drew a line in the sand with his stick and he said anyone who wants to stay with the chief and his crazy rules you you can stay over there but if you choose to come on this side of the line, if you can't choose to come on my side, we're going to do things a little bit differently. We are going to use fire. We're going to be open to, to having fire. We're going to see if it can help us cook meats. We're going to see if it can help us make other things taste good. We're going to see if it can help us grow into a bigger economy. We're going to see if it can allow us to build the shelter that we need uh, to see at night and be able to hunt at even at night and be able to get these other certain kinds of animals. And he mentioned all, all of these like different things that you can't get if you stay on that side. And so everybody, uh, all of these cave people had to make a decision. Are they going to stay with the chief that they knew and grew up with? And that they trusted their whole life to protect them? Or are they going to cross the line? Are they going to go to the other side of this line in the sand and try to do things a new way that could possibly be a better way? And what was remarkable in this fictitious story that I made up with a uh, is almost half of those people crossed the line. And they decided to reject the old beliefs of fire being scary. And they decided to accept fire as something that can benefit all of them. And they decided to have a, uh, the gentleman, a, uh, the caveman, they decided to make him their leader. From that day on, we have decided that the only way to get people to follow us is if we clearly show the difference between old views and new views. If we clearly show the difference between the old way of thinking, the flaws that can come with that, and what's different about our stuff. A common mistake that people make when they start a podcast, when they have podcast episodes, is they think to themselves, they want to attract everybody. They want everybody to be happy. They want to give good content for every type of person. When in actuality, uh, doesn't need to help those people that don't want fire. He only needs to help the people that want fire. He only needs to be the chief among the people that want to do it differently. Adam Adams is the person who wants to make podcasting the easy button. I'm the one who wants to make sure that people start their podcast in the right manner. I'm the one who wants to have things done a little bit differently. There's so many other people that say ready, fire, aim, right? So this is a line in the sand that I have. Other people say, ready, fire, aim. They say, don't overthink it. They say, you can always change it later. They say, what's the other one? There's so many. The point is that it's like, 
uh, ready, fire, aim. You can always change it later. Don't overthink it. Just start. Done is better than perfect. That's the other one. Done is better than perfect. And I disagree. I 100% disagree. I resonate when, when somebody says done is better than perfect. I get what they're trying to say. But if you have a done podcast, if you just do a podcast, but you don't focus at least enough to get listener base, then you're going to make some failures. You're going to hurt some feelings. If you don't start a podcast and draw your line in the sand clearly, like anyone that you know that's famous, anyone that you know, they have a different way of doing it than the other person that is their competition. They have to. If they're all saying the same thing, then they're not going to attract anybody. So, what we're trying to say is you've got to take a page out of us book. Draw your line in the sand because if you're trying to speak to everyone, you're truly speaking to no one. If you're trying to make everyone happy with your content, nobody's going to know if it's for them. But if you draw your line in the sand and say, that's the old way and this is the better way, come on my side if you want it, that's the way that you're going to attract people and build a cult, build a cult following, which will allow those people that follow you to share your content with their friend, to rate and review your podcast, to come to your events when you host events, to call you and pay you when you're offering for them to be part of your services. They're going to be the first person that says, I am in. I like fire. Fire can do good stuff. Let's play with some, some fire. And I'm coming on your line, on your side of your line in the sand. Remember that. Focus on it. Figure out how can you draw your line in the sand a little bit better by the next episode that you have. So take a piece of paper, write down all the ideas that you have and draw that line in the sand the best that you can so your people know why they're following you. <laughs> 